What's up YouTube? My name is Lazy Tryhard and today I'm going to be continuing our tutorial series on LibGDX and today what I thought I would go over is building main menus, building any sort of menu in your game and to do that, to illustrate that, I wanted to show you guys the application that I made a little while ago. Uh, it's it's kind of outdated in terms of I haven't really updated in a while since I've been at school and all but this is something that I made and had to learn how to do menus and you have to really master this because I mean any game any application you have is gonna have menus and I think the method that I used in th this thing called scene 2d is the best way to do it so when you look at this cute little application right here don't really worry about what it does or anything like that if you want to check it out I'll put the link in the description but you see like we have one one two three four we have four at least four menus we're gonna have to make and to do that you kinda have to uh, use this thing called a stage which don't worry about it right now but that's kinda like the backbone of scene 2d and through the stage we can make things like images show up on our menu we can have buttons uh, we can have text we can have whatever we want show up in our menu and it looks I mean I've kind of I, I think it looks kinda awesome but we can do kind of effects where like you click something and it works you can give text a certain a certain color you can do whatever the heck you want with it so I w again I just wanted to show you this application to kind of illustrate the point that I'm gonna try to make today so let's get out of that and switch to okay our... so we're back in this cute little tutorial series in this tutorial eclipse and we're gonna create the menu today like I said so we're gonna have to set up a couple of things we're gonna have to set up a stage now don't be intimidated again I, I'm gonna try to explain this in the best way possible so I'm just gonna go through each element that we need and kinda of help you guys uh, work this out so we're gonna have to initialize the stage and it's gonna equal a new stage and it's gonna ask for basically nothing um, and again no worries there uh, one last thing we're going to want to do with this stage is we're going to want to kind of stage dot draw and that's again just drawing the, the stage on uh, the th this and that should be awesome actually you know what we're going to add some parameters you see the f width and height normally it's kind of set to, if you just don't initialize it it should be set for the full screen um, but just to be safe we're just gonna do dot get width and we're gonna set it for the entire thing this is basically just saying that the stage is gonna be just the entire thing the entire screen and if you run that nothing's really gonna happen you're gonna have our cute little m monster guy chasing us but nothing really happened that's what that's because you need to add things to it to make it a cool stage so the first thing I'm gonna teach you is a label and a label is kind of like a component of the stage that uh, it's basically like a text that you can put on a screen and we're gonna just make this all together and it's we're gonna have to stop this but I'm gonna show you really quick we're gonna say it's equals to a new label and it's gonna take some weird parameters it's gonna take a char sequence which is kinda cool which is basically our text so uh, insert text here and it's going to ask for a label style and we have no idea what a label style is actually uh, you don't I'm going to teach you that right now so what you're going to do is you're going to want to come down here and create a label style and you're just going to call it style for right now uh, usually there's like some really fancy uh, word you can come up with but for right now our purpose is we really don't want to make this too complicated so style equals new label style and the easiest way is to do a label style with a bitmap font. Now we have no idea what a bitmap font is, and we're just going to say color dot white. So we're going to have to do one more thing. We have to create a bitmap font. Oh, that's the last thing I forgot. A bitmap font. Now don't uh, don't get thrown into a, the abyss here. I'm going to again explain all of this step by step. So font equals a new bitmap font. And this is this is going to take a file handle. So this is where we're going to do the gdx.files.internal uh, parentheses 
and we're just going to say font.fnt. And for flip, we're just going to say false. So now we can put the font in here, and that's going to work. So I'm going to really break this down really quickly. We're going to make this... Uh, new bitmap font. We're gonna make this with a cute little application uh, that I found on the internet and it's gonna work perfectly. But with that font we put this in this label style which we put into the label which kinda gives the label uh, that specific font and that specific color and a couple other things if we if we so choose to change it. So right now we're gonna go to uh, this cute little website. I'll put it in the description. Uh, but it has this is like this is the creator of libgdx and all that fun stuff so this is kinda legit um, but you're gonna download this program and you're gonna do all that fun stuff and you're gonna have this so it gives you a bunch of different fonts that you can use and you can pick whatever the freaking heck you want I don't really care let's pick something like uh, what's fang song eh? let's do franklin gothic medium uh, so you can like change the fonts whatever you want um, I'm just going to call it font.fnt, and we're going to save this, I'm going to save it on my desktop. Um, you're going to take this font, and you're going to put it in the assets folder. So, where's the paste? Where's that paste? There we go. So now we have an fnt font. So we have font.fnt, and if we run this, we're going to make sure we don't get any, like, destruction things. Everything worked perfectly, so we initialized it and all that fun stuff. So... Now we have to kind of draw all this fun stuff. So now that we have our label and it has the style and everything should be working, should be is the keyword. So we're going to do stage.add actor. And it's going to take an actor, which in this case is a label. And basically, this, is just, this line of code is just like adding the label to the stage so that when we draw the stage, it's going to go perfectly. And I think if we do that, you won't be able to see it because, like, one, it's white, so... Uh, you see it right there? You see it right there? Okay, it's white, so let's, let's see if we can change that to black. Let me see if we have to do that in the font settings or we can do it here. So you kind of see it's, like, in the bottom left. Yeah, okay. So you can see it kind of in the bottom left here. Um, we can't really do anything with that if like it just moves in the bottom left so that's why uh, these actors have a cute little thing where you can do label dot set position and you could do like 50 50 and I think that it works that way yeah so if you just move you can just like move it wherever you want now if you create a game that's awesome because you can just have certain text wherever and one other thing I'm gonna do is for every uh, render to update we have to do stage dot act this is kinda just like updates the stage so if we like give a uh, player a health well if that per that player runs into contact with an enemy and gets hit we want that health to go down but it will only update if we're doing the stage dot act but uh, that's for a different tutorial right now I just want y'all to get the basics of this so we've kinda like I said we've added like We've added this cute little text, and we can make whatever we want. It really doesn't matter. We can change this to uh, the lazy try hard tutorials, and it'll like update perfectly. It'll be freaking awesome. So we see that, and we see all the players. Now, normally, what would happen is like you want to move this somewhere where it's like the UI or whatever you're developing. It's top left is usually like the place you would put stuff. So uh, to do that, you want to do like gdx dot graphics dot get height. Now that'll put it at the top. We won't see it, and I'll just prove that because I feel like the best way to learn this stuff is to just keep running the code by making like small changes. So you do like minus do like twenty. Do like twenty pixels. That's kind of like a static value, but uh, dang it, that's not enough. Let's do minus fifty. And we're going to make this like 10. So it'll put it like exactly, that's kind of where like a health bar would normally go. And I know that's kind of big, but we can kind of like dumb it down. But like normally a health bar would be right there. So we can have, again, we see it kind of like the static going on. But that's basic, that's again, one of the main components of a whole 
plethora of things you can do with stage and or stage and scene 2D and all that fun stuff. So in the next tutorial, I'll go over buttons and like how we can interact with the player and have to deal with listeners and all that fun stuff. But right now, I'm kind of scared to leave it off because I know y'all are going to have questions, so please write it in the comment section if you have a question, because this topic kind of scares me, because it took me so long to master and to figure it out. So, again, I beg of you, please nail me with questions, because I can answer them to the best of my ability. If not, Google's a fantastic reference point. So, again, thank you so much for watching. Please rate, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys later.